My question is to Dr. Lustig and your work in the policy, as I am now a part of a new community, uh, and engaging in the level of tr taking this amazing science and um, importance of how the next generation uses food. Can you speak just to a little summary of what you would advise for somebody taking on a community to say, how do you change the policies that are rooted from this? So how many hours do we have? Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, here's, here's the problem in a nutshell. Um, for any substance of abuse, and sugar is a substance of abuse, ultra-processed food is a substance of abuse. For any substance of abuse, we need individual intervention, which for lack of a better word, we can call rehab, and societal intervention, which for lack of a better word, we can call laws. Rehab and laws, rehab and laws. Mm -hmm. For cocaine, for amphetamine, for nicotine, for alcohol, you know, for heroin, we have both. For sugar, for ultra-processed food, we have nothing. So that's where we have to go. The question is, how do you do that? Right? We live in America. We have this thing called liberty interest. You don't tell me what to eat, right? So how do you, you, know, how do you, uh, you know, rationalize that? Ultimately, you have to teach the populace. But in fact, I've learned that you don't teach the populace. Because they have a belief system, like religion. Okay? If you have a belief system, no one's going to shake your belief system. We've seen that in DC over the last five years. Right? What you do is you teach the children. And then the children grow up and they vote. 